The winter storms that blew across the Mon Valley in February dumped more snow on the area than anyone expected. Almost 30 inches of snow fell, and with that snowfall came a total disaster. Wednesday, local government leaders met in Charleroi to discuss the emergency response and start to create a plan to fix any problems with how the storm was handled. CUTV anchor Mark Stemka has the details. Emergency response to the back-to-back -back February snowstorms was the topic of hours of testimony and questioning as local leaders tried to find answers to how utility companies, government agencies, and first responders reacted to the disaster. Where was the breakdown? What went wrong? Why was there no power or water? Where was Pima? Those are just some of the questions State Representative Peter Daly was hoping to get answered by hosting a policy committee meeting to hear first-hand testimony about those directly involved with the emergency response to the February snowstorms. I think there was a remarkable breakdown in number one communications, evacuation, coordination. You know, you're a cow. I live in Cal. We lost power. School was closed all week. Uh, we lost water in parts of California. Daily brought representatives from the National Weather Service, the PA National Guard, Red Cross, volunteer firefighters, local mayors, and utility companies all to testify, wanting to leave no stone unturned to get answers. The Western PA director of the Pennsylvania Emergency Management Agency was also brought to testify. Daly was critical of the overall Pima response. It's frustrating, you know, obviously, because we'd like to be able to do more. Uh, but we are, you know, we do have constraints in terms of, of uh, resources availability and the conditions that we operate in uh, because of the weather. So. During testimony, Bobman said the storm was not categorized as a severe disaster because it wasn't statewide. Daly was critical of that decision, calling for it to be looked at. Later in the afternoon, the CEO of Allegheny Power testified about the 400,000 power outages in western PA. He took fire from the panel and residents who spoke out against the response efforts. So we want to hear what happened and what we can do to make sure that the type of people being so stranded, hopeless, uh, doesn't happen again. Now the state leaders will take the information they gathered here today with them to Harrisburg. From there they will look into possible legislation and regulation into how agencies and utility companies should respond to future storms and disasters. Reporting from the Mon Valley Career and Technology Center in Charleroi, Washington County, Mark Stumpka, CUTV News Center.